those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. If all for the faith and profess are common Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and strive out of all that does it harm. O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, listening to me, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Thank you. 
enjoy the same freedom and glory as the children of God. From the beginning till now, the entire creation has been doing, has been growing in one great act of giving birth. And not only creation, but all of us who possess the first fruits of the Spirit, we do grow inwardly as we pray for our bodies to be set free. The word of the Lord. Understands it, 
He is the one who heals our bodies and produces now a hundredfold, now sixteen, now thirty. The gospel of the The sufferings of this life are nothing compared to the glory which is to come. Today we hear the parable that is found in all four Gospels, that of the sower and the seed, also known as the parable of the four sword types. It is one of the few that Jesus explains, urging us to good soil and to reap a harvest that is rich. Since Jesus himself already explained this parable for better than I can, simply have one point for your reflection today. What seeds do you sow? In the Gospel today, the seed is the Word of God, which is sowed in varying soils. The sower Jesus himself, and even though some of the seeds he sows will not bear fruit, because not everyone receives the seed the same way, he still sows the seed. Neil Anderson notes that the taste creates plastic meat in song, sowing the seeds of love, that the thrust of the song there is that we should be actively doing something about the problems in the world. That is, we should be sowing seeds of love, creating a better world, and not just simply talking about it. Sisters and brothers, what seeds do you sow at work, in school? What is your contribution to your family, to your country, to this parish? What words do you use with people? Are we people who encourage others? Do we build them up? Or do we tear them down by our sarcasm and our lack of support? Do we sow seeds of love, of hope, of strength, of joy? Or do we sow seeds of discord, confusion, cynicism? So many of us like to break down people by the words in which we use. We do it so often that we don't even realize that we're doing it. Sisters and brothers, no matter where we are, we can be guided by the virtues of Jesus Christ. So seeds of hope, love, empathy, trust, fraternity. Let us change the world one seed at a time, knowing that one day those seeds will bloom into something beautiful and wonderful for God. The former U.S. Senator Mark Hatfield tells the story of touring Calcutta with Mother Teresa, and they visited the house of dying where sick children cared for in their last days. In the dispensary where the poor line up by the hundreds to receive medical attention. Watching Mother Teresa minister to these people, thousands of people, feeding and nursing those who have like others to die. Our feel that it was overwhelmed by the magnitude of the suffering that she and the Lord faced every day. And he asked her, How can you bear the Lord without being crushed by it? Mother Teresa replied, My dear, dear Senator, I am not called to be successful. I'm called to be faithful. Now each of us has our own vocation. God's planted us here for a reason. Can we yield fruit a hundredfold? Or is our soil type one of those that yields nothing? On July the 12th, the church celebrates the feast of St. Louis and Zelie Montaigne, the parents of St. Therese of Lisieux also known as the Little Flower. There's a great trend to canonize the parents of the saints, like the mother of John Bosco. They realize that the saints became such because of the seeds planted by their parents and their grandparents, as is the case with St. Louis, his mother Blanche, St. Dominic and his mother Joan, St. Augustine and his mother Monica, and the Blessed Virgin Mary and her parents, Anne and Joachim. Now Louis had attempted to become a monk, but was rejected. Zélie was rejected as a nun because she was considered to have no vocation. They both failed to be accepted into religious life, and even had some failures in business. But what they did well at was instilling good values in their five children. Marie, Pauline, Leonie, Celine, and Therese, all of whom would become nuns. Teams of Our Lady celebrate the saints in a very special way for sowing seeds, those seeds of vocation, those seeds of holiness in our own children. Sisters and brothers, no matter who you are, no matter how old we are, no matter how young we are, 
we can still plant seeds of hope, which is what we need in this world now more than ever. That is what Jesus did with Zacchaeus, the man born blind, the woman caught in adultery. Matthew the text collector. What seeds will you plant? There was once a man who was sitting on the ground outside, having spent much of the day begging for food. That day a very well-dressed woman stared at him and asked, Are you hungry? No, he said sarcastically, and looked away. The man felt a gentle hand under his arm, lifting him up. What are you doing here? Leave me alone. And just then a policeman came up. Is there a problem, man? He asked. No problem, young officer. I'm just trying to get this man to his feet. Will you help me? The officer scratched his head and said, Well, that's old Jack. He's been a fixture around here for a couple of years. What do you want with him? Well, I'm going to get him something to eat and get him out of the cold for a while. The woman and the police officer went to go Jack into the cafeteria nearby and sat him at a table in a remote corner. The manager, seeing the motion, strode across and stood by his table. What's going on here, officer? He asked. What is this? Is this man in trouble? He said, Well, this lady brought this man in here to be fed. Not in here, said the manager. Have a person like this in this establishment is bad for business. He must leave. And the woman turned into the cafeteria manager and said, Sir, are you familiar with Eddie and Associates? The banking firm just down the street. Of course I am, he said. They hold their weekly meetings in one of my banquet rooms. And do you make plenty of money from those weekly meetings? What business is that of yours, he said, so I answered. Well, you see, sir, I am Penelope Eddy, the president and the CEO of Eddy and Associates. Please fix up a nice breakfast now. If you want to do so, she turned back to the beggar and said, Jack, Many years ago when you worked here, and I came through that very door. I was cold and hungry, I had no job, I was kicked out of my apartment, and I walked around the streets for days and days, it was February, and I was cold, they were strong. And I saw this place, and I walked in. Jack lit up with a smile. Now I remember you, he said. You came up and asked me if you could work for something to eat. And I said that it was against company policy. The woman said, then you made me a roast beef sandwich anyway. You gave me a cup of coffee and told me to go over to a corner table and enjoy it. I was afraid that you would get into trouble. But then I mapped what you were doing and I realized that you put the price of my food in the cash register. You paid for my meal yourself. You know, I got a job that very afternoon. I worked my way up and eventually I started my own business that with the help of God prospered. She opened a purse and pulled out a business card and told him when you are finished here, I want you to pay a visit to Mr. Leon. He's the personal director of my company. I will talk with him right now. I'm certain he will find something for you to do around the office. We will buy some clothes and get a place to live until you can get back on your feet. If you ever need anything, my door is always open to you. And the poor man had tears welling up in his eyes, thanking him profusely. Since the brothers want to be so a good deed, we will reap the same. If Jesus did say, Bless all the merciful, for they will have mercy, show them. Sir Robert Louis Stevenson once said, Do not judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Jesus himself challenged us to sow seeds and remind us that God sees everything that we do. When he told the virtuous, I was hungry. And you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink, etc. And he said, As long as you did this, you one of the least of my brothers and sisters. You did it to me. One thing this year, with this pandemic, and possible war breaking out, should teach us is that life is short. Sisters and brothers, let us move away from those unimportant things in our life. Do not let the lure of this world distract you. God's plan for you. Life goes by in an instant. You are never too old or too young to fulfill God's plan for you. So, O seeds of love, do not let today pass you by. Go out there and bear fruit that bothers.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. As we profess our faith, I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, who has been seen by the Holy Spirit, born of the Holy Spirit, the Son of the Lord, 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 they will come to church and live in heaven. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy God of the Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the Lord, and life of the Lord. Amen. We now bring before our Heavenly Father all things that we have. For hope from sinners and Archbishop Charles J. C. priests and religious. Father God, we guide and bless them in their good. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. For us to always pray to the God of salvation, because all of our hope rests in Him. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. For our increasing vocations to the Ammonite order, that young men and women will be inspired by Mary to ponder the words of the Son of God. They devote their lives to contemplation of the word of God in the world of the family. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. For us Christians, we have like to see that fellow with soul and be able to bear fruit of a dreadful. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. For those who are blind, that God will receive them into the home he has prepared for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. For all the special needs in the silence of our hearts, we pray to God our loving Father. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For the special attentions of the Smiles for Thanksgiving with Pamela Mohammed and the teens of our lady. The special attention of Jesse Mangalore and Melissa Pereira and for all those doing his hand, especially in the national. For breakthrough for Andrew, for healing for Sheldon Saral, Mara Pinder, Ignatius Richards, Della Marie, Norma Heller, Albert Campbell, Lucy Hill, Lorenzi Nagy, and George Tanshin, and all those who have the coronavirus, Lord hear us. For the repose of the soul of Hayden Lee, Warren Leslie, Jamar Marcel, and Ralph Hall, Father Hayden's father, died in the name. For all who have died as a result of the coronavirus, Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. For our students, Maud, Jonathan, and Greg, and David, David, from our pastor, that they may be full of groups, Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. We unite these prayers to those of our blessed mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. The blessed are thou our God, and the blessed is the fruit of the heaven of Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and us now, and the hour of our day. Eternal Father, we ask that you gave these prayers for me, for we make them with trust and confidence in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, the one God, forever. Thank you. 
bound with all things. And go to their for these gifts of prayer, by setting down the Spirit upon them and the people, so that they may become for us and the love of all the Lord Jesus Christ. And the chaplain was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion into a bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you eat it. For this is my law, which will be given up. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and wanted to see more of the plants. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you who drink from it. With this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to put out for you and for them for the forgiveness of our sins. Do this in memory. And 
together we pray as Jesus has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously draw peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all sins, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Let God in our sins and our faith in the church, and graciously grant you peace. Unity in accordance with your will, will live and reign for heaven and heaven. May the Lord be with you all. Let us all be charitable, socially distant, silent.
uh, with things going on, it seems unlikely that we can have any office in our country this year. And so this would be something that can certainly assist um, us with the necessary things we need to do here in our church. The Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your love. Continue to go to St. Michael, I've seen uh, him in session, especially for an end to this pandemic and for our world and the situations we're on right now. As we pray, St. Michael, we are a major defense in the state of God. We are a safeguard against the weakness and the snares of God. May God is strength and love you. And do thou, O Prince of the Holy Ghost, hide the power of God, press down to make us safe. All the wicked spirits who want to be seeking the root of souls. Amen. Have a great uh, weekend, everyone. Stay safe out there. I'm happy to follow all the protocols that um, they have, through, especially the wearing of the mask and 